done. I'm making a video, obviously. Anyways, guys, uh, I wanted to share my opinions on RSN, Real Stream News, CJ, Craig, whatever you want to call him, little punk ass, little beta boys, what I call him. Anyways, guys, yeah, he really showed his fucking ass, didn't he? Okay, he showed his ass. He, uh, yeah. On Friday, he dropped a bunch of nudes. Everybody knows it. I was going to make a video documenting all the evidence and everything. I've been in DMs with some of these women for months. But I've been in DMs with all of the women as of recently. Um, I didn't get, always get along with all these women. But I'm really proud of them for coming forward. And the problems I did have with them related to CJ... RSN. Um, I wanted to address something though. I did defend him on certain rape allegations that happened last year. I had seen a video. At first I saw a video of him and this girl and she's crying and she's talking about how she had told him no twice and then told him to do whatever he wanted and that they had sex. And I was really disturbed by it. But then somebody sent me a link to a video that he made documenting all the evidence he had on this woman. And he had flown this girl out. She was, I think, 20 or something like that. All of these women are beautiful and young, too, in their 20s. And seriously. <laughs> Anyways, like, I, I, he, couldn't, he couldn't get any of these. He couldn't, he couldn't get any of these women if he tried. Like, literally. He couldn't. Yeah, you could tell he has a lot of lady problems. So anyways, back to what I was saying. I defended him. I never defended him because I liked him. I've never liked him. I've always been very, very, very public about not liking him. And I just gave an objective, unbiased opinion about what I felt about what evidence was provided. No means no, yes. But it gets a little complicated when you hear recordings of this woman saying um, something to the effect of, if you get on my bad side, I'm going to spread rape rumors about you, or something like that. And then also on the phone with her mother saying, it wasn't rape, what do you want me to do? And the mom's like, go to the police. And she's like, well, what are they going to do? He didn't even rape me. I, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I really don't know what happened. But I was basing my opinion on the evidence provided. Okay? <sighs> Anyways. I never liked him. No. Never did. Even when I, you know, I did frequent his stream for just, like, maybe like a week. Maybe, like, maybe over a two-week time. He came in my stream a few times because we had consulted with each other over um, a scammer that tried to enter the community. And we had talked a little bit, like, you know, just on, on videos or on live streams or whatnot, right? Okay. So anyways, <clears throat> my opinions about the rape allegations of the past, however, I, I can't say they've changed, but I will say this, it's really hard to defend him. I definitely feel a little different about it now. Maybe there was some coercion involved. Co coercion. Coercion. I can't say that word to save my life. Anyway, coercion, manipulation involved, getting that lady out here, out to his place, and whatnot. Okay? So, <clears throat> anyhow, back to what I was saying about being the, in the DMs with la the ladies, and people going against them, people defending him. You know, I, and people attacking me for this whole Rebecca Mama Bear thing with RSN, Saying, you know, just because you don't like him, your opinions about him. No, nothing about his videos are sincere. He said, I'm loving this. When she did get hit, he thought it was funny. He thought the whole Rebecca Mama Bear thing was funny. He didn't feel any type of way. He was no hero. He didn't bring anything to the surface. It wasn't because of him. You know, and I don't know. It just, people attacked me on my opinions about him. Well, it was kind of hard to to say nice things about him after the things I was hearing about him in DMs. It wasn't my story to tell. I couldn't come public with it. So anyhow, um, all the evidence, evidence is documented 
on Stephanie Brown and Amanda Love, and they did live streams with the girls on piano, and they did such a good job. And also, Rag Reynolds, I'm not very familiar with him, but he's made some videos um, documenting CJ. And you know what's weird is that his video documenting CJ's um, rape allegations with that one girl, I looked in, on the video, the date's August 30th, today's August 29th, and it was last year, so it's like exactly the year anniversary of that, um, and all this is happening. So yeah, on Friday night, he showed a bunch of nudes of his ex-mods, like, what, what, what was he thinking? Like, he literally thought people were gonna, like, there are some people that are out there, like, defending him and saying they, they deserve what they got. He has a mod currently right now who had just dropped nudes on her platform. This woman is obviously head over heels in love with him. Or she could be another victim. We don't know. We really don't know. But this thing is just all, all the way, all around fucked up and disgusting. And just, I, I thought he was a clout chasing, backbiting motherfucker. He was sleazy that... That it was weird that all these, like, pretty young girls were around him. I just didn't understand the attraction even to his content or his... I mean, I did go watch some live streams, like, if he covered something from my community, because he wasn't really part of my community. He was always coming around here begging for interviews of people that got a lot of attention, like TT and MFW and Mama Bear. And I just didn't like anything about him. He pretended to be my friend to try to get interviews with some of the people in the community, and it was annoying and really clout chasey type of stuff. I don't know. Anyways, that stuff is irrelevant. But I wanted to talk about people defending him and people going at the girls saying, you shouldn't give out your nudes. Obviously, you shouldn't give out your nudes. Obviously, that is very good advice. But how he obtained the pictures or the photos, the nudies, is irrelevant. It is a crime. You can't post other people's nudes without their consent and with intent to defame their character with and harass them. And I mean, and it's just really freaking gross. I can't with this guy. I can't with this. I mean, I just, I never understood like anything like, I don't know. Obviously he has lady problems. He's little beta boy, little, little twerp. And he got on Stephanie Brown's panel and talked terrible to her. The way he talks to women is disgusting and she was really fair with him. He's freaking gross. So anyways, moving on. Today, he has a live stream and he tried to explode, expose original Al. She's a creator. <clears throat> Whether you like her or not doesn't matter, but he tried to say that she was on Dr. Phil before and he picked this couple and he took pictures of her and her husband and put them up next to these people. They might resemble slightly, like hardly. You could totally tell it wasn't them. It wasn't original Al and her husband. It was fucking ridiculous. It was such, he was like the laughing stock this morning. It was hilarious. So yeah, there's that. So he's over there with his Damage control, backpedaling apology. Basically not still still not taking responsibility for anything he did though. And yeah, he's just a problem. He used to be potentially dangerous, but now he's dangerous. So keep that in mind when you want to defend him and you know, I don't know. I guess that he has been in recovery and that he relapsed too, and he's blaming everybody for this relapse. I can't with this shit. You can't even make this stuff up. I I don't know. I don't know what else to say. All I know is that I'll leave links in the description to the evidence and whatnot and the videos and live streams that, you know, have the girls telling their stories. And I'm really proud of these girls. Really, really proud of these girls for being brave enough to come together. That was another thing. He pitted them against each other like a like a classic cult leader type move. Yeah, he did that. So anyways, guys, I'm going to shut this down. And I might attach a clip. I might not. Um, I don't know. 
Enjoy, like, subscribe, and stay tuned, whatever. All right.